In this home, we love to dream God-sized God dreams. dreams. And this, this year was a God-sized dream. Okay, so, Addy, cheers. Morning coffees. Heavenly Father, we pray for authenticity. We pray for sincerity, but also, Lord, we just pray for the ability to remember some of these incredible things that you do each and every year. And we thank you for the blessing and the gift that is this family. Lord, help our steps be your steps. Help our goals be your goals. And Lord, that the impact we make in this world is one that glorifies you so that when people look at us, they don't even see our face, but they see right through us and they see your face. So. so, four years, honey. Four years. You've been married to me for four years. And I've only known you for five. That's true. <laughs> this family wasn't something imagined. It was a dream that only God could bring to life. From, From the, the perfectly, perfectly placed, placed wife, wife that fills my soul and brings the greatest joy to my heart, little Addie that dances in the room and loves everyone around her like Christ would love others. Hi, Daddy. The gift of Blakely on Christmas Eve, a little girl who smiles in the hardest days and the best of days. And she, she fits, fits into, into this, this family, family like a perfect, perfect puzzle. puzzle piece. I love the name and I want to hold her. <laughs> We pray God-sized prayers and God-sized dreams, even when the times are tough and we need God to bring a miracle and healing to our world. We prayed healing over Darwin, but not just our family, our whole community prayed. So on September 24th of 2023, we all sit down to have dinner and I get a phone call. My sister was on the other side and she had said that my dad had collapsed and um, they called 911 and he's in an ambulance and he's en route to the hospital. He was on a ventilator for I believe three days and he would walk into that room and he was there but like he wasn't, you know? I just remember just praying like, like what are you doing God? And I just remember in that moment, like being like, like the belief stirring up in me, being like, God can. Like, He is big enough, He's powerful enough, and there's nothing that's too hard for Him. Literally three minutes later, I'm not kidding you, three minutes, the doctor called and said that He had responded. And it is one of those things where it's like, man, life can change in a second. And all of your priorities fall into place. It was such a relief and blessing and just also just like God hears. It's your birthday. I've seen the theme of like teamwork even more so with two kids. You're such a good servant. I think Thanks, that's, honey. Well, that's what's stood out to me this past year. Like, as we continue to have more kids, God willing. It's been really fun to see Addie interact with Blakely, um, and she just loves being a big sister. I think more than anything that I've realized that time is so fleeting. I don't know, I think it's just put in perspective of like, what is our, purpose. Let's be eternally focused. Let's give glory to who glory belongs to. Say, Pokey, this is your first flight. Be strong and fight it. Do not say for the Lord your God is with you. Where does Jesus live? In my house. Yeah, he does. For our anniversary, we did nothing. <laughs> It was great. We made pizza. You know, your wedding day is beautiful and it's perfect. And we were in California and we were on a cliff and it was gorgeous. And, it, and there's so much beauty in that, but there's also so much beauty in the ordinary. It's to see like what we've dreamed of building 
Now we get to sit in it and we get to like live it. And that's really special. This is never going to be steady enough. Daddy was gone a lot, nearing 100,000 miles coast to coast, doing his shine and, and serving, serving clients, clients through storytelling. storytelling. But every mile flown, every film crafted, his heart was home with his girls. There's no greater joy than the loving hug of a daughter or the phrase, I'm proud of you from your wife. Your daddy lives a dream every day with a job I love and a family I love even more. One of my favorite things is just coming home and just getting to spend time with the girls, which I, um, there's three girls, so all of them. Girl dad. They teach you also about Christ. They teach you about your faith because it suddenly you understand, well, if this is how much I love my kid, then how much does Christ love us? I think parenthood is designed to make you holy. We had a really, really big dream for a couple of years. Yes. So what's the big news? We bought a house on Marco Island. I cried like a baby when I found out. <laughs> Daddy and I are going for a prayer drive. I love you. I love you. So fast. It feels almost surreal. Like we're sitting on the steps right now and it's like, well. And so this is a dream come true. <laughs> to make a radical, huge impact on others, not for ourselves, but because that's what God wants to do. We want to be able to bless people in a way that is not normal in the world and that is unique. We want people to feel close to the Lord here. We want rest and rejuvenation and relaxation in any way that we can provide it, right? We just want to pull back the curtain on God's glory and whether it's a dip in the pool or a sip of hot coffee or the beautiful Florida sunshine. Like we want people to experience the rest that they have in Christ, but this place can help point that to them. This year was a God-sized dream come true, and it was a story worth telling in my life as a father and a husband. In my, in my life, life as, as a father, father and, a and a husband, is God's, is God's goodness, goodness at work each day. I love you. Love you. It's the end of the year. Christmas, best Christmas present we could ever have. Stay tuned. We'll see you next week. Bye, Tamba. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Addy, what are you making? Santa Claus cookies. Can you sing the entire song, Blessed Are We? Blessed are we, blessed are we, we, we are better in the ghetto, take from me. And wake the hair, take the water, take the take the Jesus, and we bless are we. I'm Mama Gummy. <laughs> The moment is over. How do you get out? What do you mean get out? <laughs>